See, people are not going to play games when it comes to their family members. It says, son's lawsuit, nursing facility reckless in employing Harrison nurse accused of killing 80-year-old. Now, a few months ago, I did an article on this ex-nurse who unalived a patient uh, with insulin. And she claims that the patient was in a lot of pain. And she took it upon herself to do what she did. Now, this patient has a history of doing this to a number of people, um, going from facility to facility. And this is why I say mental evaluation should be mandatory uh, yearly, in my opinion, and drug test. A lot of people don't agree, but that's my opinion. But let's talk about it. But you can live pretty well. This article comes from triblive.com. Triblive.com. It says, Son's lawsuit. Nursing facility reckless in employing Harrison nurse accused of unaliving 80 year old patient. It says, The son of an 80 year old woman, authorities say, was unalived by Harrison nurse at Sunnyview Rehabilitation Center in Butler Township, said the nursing facility was negligent and reckless in their hiring and handling of the nurse's behavior, according to the lawsuit. I'm not going to say the patient's name, uh, but she passed away January 21st, 2023, 45 days after she was admitted to the facility. Uh, when Heather Persady, 41, administered a lethal dose of insulin, according to a lawsuit filed Friday in uh, Algany County Court by the Sun. It says Persady has been charged in connection with 17 total deaths at five nursing homes um, since May. She faces two counts of first degree unaliving and 17 counts of attempting unaliving on accusations of overdosing patients with insulin who didn't need any. Persady worked at 11 local nursing facilities since 2018 despite a pattern of being fired and accused of patient mistreatment and being referred to the state health department by a hospital physician for concerns of harming patient. This person, was reported several times but that just goes to show you we are in such desperation of staff that people will look past people don't really do background checks people don't want to do psych eval or drug tests and these are the patients that are really in danger and it could even be you even if you're a healthcare professional you eventually will get sick and you may need to go to the hospital would you want somebody like that being your nurse somebody with a history of doing this to different people. I know I sure wouldn't. It says the lawsuit alleges that Sunnyview Nursing Facility in Butler County exemplified, quote, managerial and operational negligence, carelessness, recklessness, and willful and wanton conduct by hiring Persady despite her abusive tendencies and behavior towards residents and staff at the facilities where she previously worked. No background checks. People usually call other facilities, say, hey, how was this patient? You know what I'm saying? Just to see the history of the person. It says attempts to contact the nursing facility and the son of the person who dies, lawyer, were unsuccessful. The nursing facility terminated her employment in May 2023. You think? The lawsuit states. On May 24th, she was, uh, 2023, she was arrested and taken into, co into custody over the unaliving of two patients at Quality Life Services um, nursing facility where she worked from May to January 2022. According to the complaint, staff and administration at the Sunnyview nursing facility began to notice her patients die unexpectedly under suspicious circumstances. When does the red flag start going off, ladies and gentlemen? The staff noticed she was excited to work the medication cart and religiously stated Sunnyview residents, quote, just need to die, according to the lawsuit. It says the patient who passed away, her health began to decline shortly after. I'm, I know I'm saying her name wrong. I'm just call her Persady because that's what it looks like it's pronounced. After she began treating her, the lawsuit said such that she appeared overly medicated and drugged. Two days before she passed away, her son uh, saw her and he believes that she was beaten. She had broken teeth and two black eyes. Um, Persady says she had fallen but failed to address the injuries or transfer her to a hospital for treatment. The lawsuit states, see, and again, not to take anything away from what happened, but 
when patients fall, I know it's easy, you know, to not not do nothing. But especially if y'all don't see any visible injuries or anything like that. But no, it got to be reported. It has to be reported because you don't know how a bruise can appear, a broken bone. You may not know about anything could happen. So you need to report it. And if the patient need to get an x-ray, you you need to do it right then and right there. I made $110,000 my very first year as a licensed practical nurse with less than one year of education. My name is CJ Kyles, AKA the high value nurse. And in my brand new ebook, The Ultimate LPN Mindset, I give nurses, seniors and healthcare workers alike the tips and the tricks that I use to shape my mind into what I needed it to be to get the money all up in these nursing homes and in these medical facilities so they can get the paper they deserve. And you can go get it at thehighvaluenurse.com. It says, uh, though her cause of death was determined to be dementia, the state attorney's general office discovered that she had been unalive by insulin injections. In late September or early October, Persady admitted to injecting the insulin, uh, the lawsuit states. See, this is why also it is important to take these blood sugars. Some people just give the blood sugar, I'm sorry, some people just give the insulin without even taking the sugar. You don't know what that sugar is, what that blood sugar is, and you could be giving them a lethal dose of insulin, and you could really do some harm to yourself. It'll be a wrap. It says in late September or early October, uh, no, I'll read that. It says the lawsuit seeks uh, compensatory and punitive damage, among other things, pain and suffering, and uh, um, an alleged failure to intervene. Now, that's a sad situation right there. And it just goes to show you that we really need to start question, questioning who we are letting in these nursing homes. Not only the nursing homes, but the hospitals, hospice centers, wherever people, wherever healthcare workers are working, we really need to start doing these background checks. We need to start doing these evals, these psych evaluations, uh, these drug tests. Really start looking into people's background because things like this are starting to occur way too often. And it's a serious issue. And it's one that has me worried, quite frankly, because one day I could be a patient in somebody's hospital. And, and I have been in the past. And I don't want to deal with somebody like this. You feel me? Patients are vulnerable, especially a patient that was in that particular patient situation. Very vulnerable. Older woman. And that happened. That's a problem. This woman has a lot of mental issues. The, the nurse, the former nurse that did this, she has a lot of mental issues. And uh, quite frankly, she just needs to be locked away and get the treatment that she needs. So I don't know. But let me know what y'all think in the comments. Let's have a conversation. My name is CJ, a.k.a. The High Value Nurse. Checking in once again, back with another video. Make sure y'all go get my ebook at thehighvaluenurse.com. Make sure y'all go get all the merch on thehighvaluenurse.com. I love y'all, God first. Peace.